Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full-blown review and show you guys what fits in the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack in the PM size. I know this is like, I think my third dedicated video to this bag, but it really is such an amazing bag and I've been wearing it like heavily in my handbag rotation since I've gotten it for the past month. So I think I have good enough thoughts, um, pros, cons to give you guys and, and also show you guys what I carry in here on a normal daily basis, as well as other items in here that I'm gonna show you for an example, just so you guys can get a better gauge of what could actually fit in this beautiful backpack so like always if you're new here welcome i would love for you guys to stick around and join my youtube fam so make sure you hit that bell button and you'll be notified every time that i upload a video and i would love for you guys to follow me on instagram and snapchat as well i'll put my name somewhere on the screen and i'll have everything in the information box below all right so first i want to apologize i'm obviously not using my ring light right now because they we are having a power outage so i actually have to film this as quickly as possible before my camera dies i really wanted to get something up for you guys because it's my only day off before an extremely busy week and my hair i literally this is air dried obviously i have no electricity so i couldn't like blow it out and straighten it so kind of annoyed right now but gotta work with what you got right so I'm gonna try to get through this as quickly as possible but still be as thorough as possible as well to help you guys out for anybody that is interested in this backpack first I'm gonna go over like the details the dimensions then I'm gonna go into what I carry in it on a daily basis and I'm gonna show you other items in here as well to show you guys what fits in it okay so the dimensions of this bag are 12.2 um, in length and then it's 7.9 almost 8 inches across here and then on the website it says 3.9 I feel like it's a little bit more than that I feel like it's about like four and a half especially because it does mush out and it's a very smushy canvas which I'm obsessed with and all of the black leather is calf skin that it's trimmed with um, the top handle here is padded it's really comfortable to carry like this my hand does slip through if I do want to carry it on my wrist like that which majority of the time I grab it like this and then the straps on the back here are a padded calfskin that are so incredibly comfortable I'm obsessed with them and the straps are adjustable with these golden little notches here these notches are pretty tough when you try to adjust them for the first time but that's a pro versus a con because it's not it's nothing you want to be like popping open on accident or anything like that so it's really good that they are as stiff as they are and also once you adjust it to the length that you would like it you're not really adjusting this bag constantly. So I like it on the third two from the bottom. Um, it's the perfect length for me to either throw on my shoulder like this or wear completely on my back like this. I like it the most. These pop, pop like puff up if there's nothing in the backpack weighing down the bag. Other than that though, they don't, they're not, they don't, they don't look like that when you have stuff in your bag. But either way, I like that look. I think it's really cool and edgy and they are so extremely comfortable. The bag features a double zip closure with these two beautiful golden zippers that have the LV engraved in them and it also features a front zip closure as well with the same little zipper here oh and also too this bag does have this little hoop in the leather down here it says online it's like a scarf hoop I've never used it maybe it's you know functional and then it does have the little tab of black leather here and on either end of this pouch here so as far as the zippers go they were pretty stiff in the beginning now they've gotten a lot smoother but it's never going to be the easiest opening and closing situation because of the actual shape of the bag also because there is a lip over the zipper it becomes second nature when you start to use it enough where it doesn't really bother you um so like for example you'll see when i start to close it see it gets a little tight over here you know and then sometimes i just like quickly lift the lip i personally and sorry if you hear banging my neighbors are doing construction that is my neighbors i personally love the fact it is a difficult zipper to get in and out of it's a backpack so i prefer to actually feel if someone is trying to get in and out of my bag not that i go to crowded places on a constant basis when i'm using it but for the occasion usually at those places i would enjoy using a backpack so it's kind of a big pro for me in my eyes but it did get a lot easier to open and close ever since i've had it i've only had it for about a month now this front zipper here is extremely extremely smooth probably one of the smoothest zippers i've ever come across and this zipper does as well feature a lip that you know you lift here 
Now in this pocket here, it's not the easiest pocket to get in and out of, but again, it becomes second nature to sort of get in and out of here. I'll show you guys what I like to keep in this bag and in certain areas and why in a second, but I do not usually like to keep like card holders or cash or anything that's like accessible to someone else um, easily because the zipper opens easily, even though this pocket isn't as easy to get in and out of. I hope that makes sense. You could put whatever you want wherever you want, but <laughs> I personally like my card holder and my keys and sort of my more important stuff in the actual main portion of the bag. So getting to the inside of the bag, you have a beautiful, beautiful black nylon. Just seems like really easy to clean, very wipeable. I haven't had to do that yet, obviously, um, but it's just fantastic. You have a very roomy back pocket back here, and then you have your main compartment, you know, in the center of the bag. I just love it. I love that this pocket is here because there are things that I like to keep in there where I can know exactly where it's at. So every time that I open it, I can quickly put my hand in. And then the tag on the nylon pocket is also made in that calfskin black leather. Okay, so that's it for like the dimensions and the details. What else did I... I mean, you guys know this is a PM size. It, there's obviously a size below this that is the mini, and then there's a size above this that's the MM. And you guys have, a, well, a bunch of you have asked me if I could get a second one, which one would I get? And for hands down, it would be the MM, just for like traveling purposes, because I do think in the luxury market, this is probably your most carefree, substantial, comfortable to wear backpack in the luxury world. I know like Saint Laurent makes really cute leather ones, so does Givenchy, and I think Givenchy even makes a nylon one, but for the fact that this is canvas and literally water could just like drip off, it's just so carefree and amazing and it's like the ultimate hands-free bag that you could own. So now I'm gonna go into what I like to keep in this bag on a normal daily basis. So I'm currently using my Celine Micro, so I'm just gonna grab my main handbag essentials actually let's do this this is like old school filming how i used to film okay i'm going to take my mini pochette this is one of my main handbag essentials plop that in this main center of the backpack just in the bottom great now my dogs are barking in the backyard it's a party outside fantastic um and then these are my ray-bans the ones the new aviator ones that i have just pop those in on the bottom Sorry if you can hear Penny Lee. She is just, I think she's going crazy because the neighbors are doing construction. So they're, yeah, they're not making her happy at all. Let's wait until she's done. Okay. And then here is my Damier Azure clay from LV that you guys know I use as my card holder. This guy I put in the back pocket. So back here, because obviously I just want to know where that is constantly to pay for things. Same thing with my keys. I put in the back pocket back here. What else? I have been carrying around sunscreen lately with me a lot because it has been warmer here in Los Angeles. So let's put some sunscreen in here and I put it in down in the bottom. So the sunscreen's nice and bright. You could see my sunglasses are, where are they? They're actually in the front down here so you can see. Okay, so for the front pocket here, I love to keep gum and whatever lip product I'm using for the day in this pocket, just because, you know, they're smaller items and majority of the time those are the main things I'm reaching for constantly more than anything else out of my bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my ColourPop, Plop, <laughs> ColourPop uh, lip gloss in WeHo and my MAC Hover lip pencil that I'm obsessed with. Keep that in the front pocket in here. And also a chapstick. I randomly have a roller roll perfume. I could just throw that in there to show you guys. And I also like to keep gum in here. I chew a lot of gum through the day. So that is something that I would be reaching for a lot more than anything else as well. So the front pocket's done main compartments done basically that is what i would carry on a normal day you could see i have so much room okay a lot of room and it's just really comfortable to have that amount of room just because i don't know maybe you want to add things in the bag later on or whatever it is it's just such a handy good everyday size bag so going on to another item that i would add to my bag oh just so you do know sometimes i do take a small makeup bag with me that obviously that fits right on top of there so another item that you guys have been asking me 
a lot if if it's in this bag is the agenda and the mm size oh it looks so cute together and absolutely so with everything in here that it would take on a normal normal daily basis i would just put that oh gosh i hope you guys can see i just put that down in the center here i just sort of wiggled my sunglasses around and now i have those facing up so an agenda fits in here. And just for sizing reference, this is my iPad mini. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right in front too with the agenda. I still have room like up here on the top. And I mean, this is a pretty good amount where I'd feel comfortable leaving it like this, but I have done this before for work and it works out fantastic. Feels pretty heavy. This bag is not heavy initially, just so you guys know, but oh my gosh, no matter how heavy this gets, because when we went to NHRA in Vegas, um, I had, uh, the sunscreen. I had two water bottles in here. I had my camera. It was heavy to the, you know, to the hand, especially when you do this. But when you have both of your straps on your shoulders, it is the most comfortable thing. You almost forget it's there. That's how thick and good this padding is, just to give you guys a little bit of an idea. So just for, you know, the sake of this video to show you guys how much fits, I'm going to now put in a regular size water bottle to show you guys with everything else. I've never tried this. Let's see if this works. And it fits. Yay. So that zips up closed perfectly fine. That's what that looks like. I didn't show you guys the bottom, but there's no feet or anything on this backpack. It feels really, really heavy, but everything fits. That shows you guys a really good amount of things that could fit in here. Just to sort of give you guys a different scenario, let's say I was going to Disneyland, I wouldn't be taking my iPad mini and I wouldn't be taking, and the reason why I say Disneyland is because we go there all the time and we really, really, really love using different sort of backpacks. It's just the most convenient and easy, easiest bag, type of bag to use when you're there. Let me go get a, actually a thin sweater to show you guys. I got my Adidas track jacket. It's a fairly thin, not too thin um, jacket, just to show you guys for an example. I actually did this, where were we? Alvera Street. I had this in my backpack rolled up. So I just had it zipped up and now there's an airplane going by. You guys, everyone just wants to interrupt the video today. So I like to roll it kind of in a neater sort of way, just so that it could be more compact. Obviously, this is going to make it more difficult to go in and out of the backpack for things constantly. You're not really thinking about that when you're, you know, actually using a backpack. I feel like just the function of the fact that this fits in here in such a compact bag, but still is roomy enough to carry the rest of your daily essentials in here. So you remember all my um, main handbag essentials are in here, a water bottle and the sunscreen. And now the Adidas jacket is now rolled up in here. Fantastic size. If you have a baby, this is a fantastic little um, diaper bag you could put, like I think Jerusha does this, she puts all her main stuff in the back compartment, back pocket, and then, you know, uh, her baby stuff in the center. I think it's such a good bag if you have kids. If you don't have kids like me, <laughs> um, it's phenomenal too. If I were to get, I feel like I would want the MM, like as an actual diaper bag if I have a baby soon. So that would be an awesome diaper bag. For sure but i love the fact that this bag is the because it's in the middle i know this sounds cliche it literally is the perfect in between of a committed backpack but also a good handbag size so obviously you guys could tell i've featured this bag in so many videos recently you could tell how much i love it and how phenomenal it is and how functional it is i couldn't recommend it enough the only cons i would say about this bag is if you're really nitpicky about zippers and going in and out of the backpack and the zippers not being so clean like a straight across zipper then maybe it would be a con for you for me it's a pro like i said and the only other con i can think of is that it's a backpack so if you are doing something where you're constantly going in and out of your bag to get you know your wallet or whatever it is maybe your phone's ringing my phone is usually always you know in my hand and if it's not in my hand and it is in this bag i keep it in that back pocket inside of the backpack um, because I, then i know exactly where it's at and i could just reach for it but majority of the time it's in my pocket or my hand so that's why i didn't even show you guys it's like you guys know the drill but yeah I w the only other con i can think of is that it's a backpack so if you are paying for something constantly then it could be annoying for someone 
I wore it to the flea market on Sunday and I just got this. I'm obsessed with it. This is like my second time wearing it. It's the cutest thing ever. It's a vintage Disney sweatshirt. It's obsessive. It's so cute. And we were buying things a lot and I was noticing I was going in my bag to pay for it a lot but it wasn't something that bothered me but I, I noted that in my head I was like oh I need to let everyone know that that might be something that might annoy someone it's not as easy as like a crossbody bag where you know your money's right here or like an open tote where you could just like put your arm in and grab it it is one of those things where it's locked away on you know your back so I was keeping it a lot like this and I did have the zippers just so you guys could see um, because when I do carry it only on one arm, I like to carry it on my left. I don't know why. Here, let me take out the sweater. It's like, that is not a daily realistic situation here. But when I do, you know, have it on one shoulder, I keep it on the left. And then I always just keep the zipper sort of here on this side. So immediately when I'm flipping the bag over to the front, I could just open it like this and then just stick my hand in, go into the back pocket and pull out my clay and then put it back in and then just zip it up and go so it is so convenient it is amazing if it is something that you have been thinking about um i highly recommend it a lot of you guys were saying you know oh it's so perfect for you you can pull it off it's so your style i know it i know it suits my personal style very much but at the end of the day it's a backpack <laughs> the main reason why i got it is for the quality and the function of it being a backpack even if i was a more preppy more feminine very girly dresser i would have still totally considered this bag or even gotten it just because of the fact that it's so handy and carefree in this sort of category of bags if that makes sense which is a backpack um, I hope I'm making sense, but I recommend this to anyone. I don't care if your style is anything different from mine. It will work for your lifestyle. It's just such a phenomenal bag. I could not actually recommend it more. So yeah, and like I said, I really would like to get the MM one uh, one day as well. So that is it, you guys. That is my review, my thoughts, what fits, and all of that jazz with the Louis Vuitton backpack, Palm Springs in the PM size. Hope you guys found this video helpful and you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and thank you again so much for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah.